I remember when I was a kid, I came from a family that didn't have much. We were always, you know, driving a car that was 15 years too old and had 80,000 too many miles on it. I remember my dad pushing that car down the street, you know, to kickstart it every morning. To, you know, he'd run alongside of it and pop the clutch and get it running and go to work every day. And I remember thinking before I went to college, you know, my dad works hard, my family works hard, but I wanted more. I didn't realize that, you know, that wanting more was going to have to force me to think differently about the way, the way things were. When I got to college, I started to see that part of my mentality believed that while other people were being successful, that success was one of those things that comes to a very few people who have something extra or who have, uh, you know, this innate ability that they were born with or have access to money or resources that they got from their family, which I didn't have. The reality is, though, is that all those are myths. And I had to, I had to break those myths of myself because what ended up happening, you know, I went to college and I, I had this great ambition, but it didn't take long for a few bad things to happen before I started to realize that my ambition was not enough to carry me forward to thinking about possibilities for my future. I started kind of thinking like what I was raised to think like, which is, you know, we, we're not as fortunate as that person. Or, you know, things, things are better for them and things aren't good for us. Or I come from a family, I come from a, you know, redneck Italian family. And of course, you know, it's easy to complain. And, and the problem with, with having, having that view is, is I had to realize that, that that's a victim mindset. And being a victim means that no matter how hard you try, in the back of your mind, you're always thinking about the fact that somebody else is going to outdo you or somebody else is going to get something that you're going for and, and it's going to cost too much and, and, and be too out of reach for you to be able to accomplish what you want. So what you end up doing is you end up settling or you end up dropping out or you end up picking the easiest thing that you can come up with and just, just learning to like soothe yourself to learn to you know, part about thinking differently, thinking like an entrepreneur, is, is stopping to realize is that just because you were born in a certain situation, or you have exposure as a kid, or for many, many years of your life to a certain type of environment, it doesn't mean that that environment is a guarantee that you have to repeat or go through all those things and just keep repeating the past. The one thing my dad did have, which I give him a lot of credit for, is he had, he didn't have, it wasn't ambition necessarily, it was more of, he had this hope. And so he, so he would take a lot of risks and a lot of chances and he would start projects and do some really cool things to, you know, because he had a picture in his mind. And even though we didn't have much, and even though it felt like the rain kept coming, I'll never forget that because having the vision that something can be better and then realizing that you don't have to be a victim. You can be free from those things that you grew up with and held you down. Because here's the day, one day you're gonna wake up and realize that you're 40 years old, and maybe your parents have died and moved on, or maybe all those other family members that are around are not around anymore, and you're gonna realize now that whatever torch you're carrying is a torch you decided to pick up. It's not a torch that was given to you. It is a choice. Are we gonna continue have the same mentality we did when we were younger as we move forward. I don't, I don't want to have a victim mindset. I want to have a growth mindset. I want to be thinking forward. I want to be thinking about possibilities. I want to see the problems that come in my life as opportunities. Because opportunities provide for great success. And how we define success is not measured by somebody else. It's measured by that set of standards that we have for what we want, the compelling future that we want to build in our own lives. I ask a lot of folks, a lot of young folks, you know, what are your goals in life? What do you want to do when you grow up? And of course, they all have answers. However, when I ask people that are over 35 the same question, once they've had a couple kids, they bought a house or, you know, they, they bought a couple cars, a lot of them tell me the same thing. They look at me and they say, well, you know, I don't know, I just want to pay my bills. Or, you know, I hope that, you know, I can retire by the, by the time I'm age 55. What happened to those goals and dreams? 
people say, well, reality gets you, kid. You know, you grow up and reality sets in and you realize that, you know, all those goals and dreams are just goals and dreams. But then I look at other people that are successfully running businesses or people that, you know, have, have made choices to, to reach certain heights and to accomplish certain things and, and I, it, just, it just doesn't jive with this idea that when you grow up, your goals become, you know, today and next week. Someone who's starving, their primary goal is to eat today. Yet all of us aren't starving. We're emotionally starving. We're professionally starving. So we got to recognize that, that that is a mentality that can change. If you don't know something, go learn it. Well, I can't afford to go to school. There's programs everywhere to help fund going to school. And school is not the only place to go learn something. If you don't like your job, it's time to start looking for another one. There's a lot of jobs still available in this country. If you don't like your current situation that you're in, you can change it. No, you don't understand, Tom. I can't change the situation. I got people that I live with, right? You, you can't change other people, but you can change yourself. You can change the way you, you decide that you're going to respond to the stimuli that you live in. You don't like your friends? You can go get new ones. It's a choice. We can make 